Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, perform some basic um, maintenance on your car and things I think everybody should know, um, i.e. definitely changing your tire, uh, checking your oil, um, jump starting your car, uh, just checking basic fluids and knowing what warning lights mean, um, just kind of identifying a lot of things and being able to do those types of things that you know don't really give you much notice. Um, so first I'll kind of go through the checklist of what I'm going to kind of cover today um, for you guys. Uh, so first I'll show you how to change a tire, um, being able to find the spare tire and using your car jack. Um, because every car um, or truck, I have a truck, um, your spare and your jack are going to be in different spots and some don't even come with them. Like they just, they, they should, but if you buy, got a used vehicle and it didn't come with it, um, you'll definitely need to get one. Um, Checking your oil, um, just you know, uh, checking the dipstick. Excuse me, um, seeing if it's like how dirty it is, how like what your oil levels are at. Um, now checking your oil is a lot different than changing your oil. Um, I'm not going to show you how to change your oil today. Um, I might do that in another video, but that's not as important as um, you know doing a tire, or, um, jump starting a car. Um, it definitely is good to know how to change your own oil. Um, I mean, I definitely I know how to do it. Uh, I won't show you guys today, but I might do that in another video. Um, checking your air filter. Um, it's definitely a good thing to clean out um, every now and again. Uh, that'll definitely keep your um, horsepower up and uh, your gas mileage up. So I'll show you how to do that. Very easy. Um, obviously, jump starting a car and then how to use the jumper cables. Um, I don't have another car to demonstrate on, but I'll kind of show you, you know, and pretend how, how it would work. Um, checking your windshield washer fluid, you know, how to top that off. Uh, topping off all the other fluids when necessary. Um, warn you about like the things about the radiator. Um, I'll show you the do's and don'ts about that and how to top off uh, your antifreeze. Um, recognizing just key components uh, under your hood, identifying those things so you know um, kind of what everything is because even though every car is different, most of the things under your hood are gonna look the same in every car so just kind of recognizing what those things are um, recognizing dash warning lights so you know by your speedometer you got a bunch of warning lights just recognizing um, what all those are and what they mean and what to do if they come on um, show you where your spark plugs are um, that's not as big of an issue uh, as other things you can change your own spark plugs but it can be kind of a pain but I'll at least show you where they are and how to take them out uh, if you do want to change them yourself so changing your lights um, your headlights and your taillights because um, they will go out eventually and you can go to any auto zone and you know they'll always have a catalog you can look and see exactly you know look up your year make and model and you know show you exactly what bulb you need and show you how to take those out how to replace them it's super easy uh, checking your tire pressure um, so sometimes you might not have to change the tire uh, per se but if your tire is low that's dangerous to be driving on a low tire um, really decreases gas mileage and wears down your tire a lot quicker. Um, so I'll show you how to refill that and how to check the PSI pressure. Um, show you where the fuses are. Um, I've never had a fuse problem, but I'll show you where the fuse box is and if you need to replace them, you know, that's pretty easy. Um, show you where your compressor is for your AC. Um, your AC runs on Freon. That's the thing that um, the AC uses. You can buy um, replacement Freon. Uh, to pump into your uh, compressor if your AC is not very cold anymore. Uh, I'll show you where the fuel filter is. Again, that thing's not as big of an issue. Uh, I had to replace mine, but I'll at least show you where it is on my truck and show you what it looks like because you may have to. Um, I'll kind of go through like the steps on what an oil change entangles. I won't actually do it, but it's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. And then when I take my tire off to show you the tire change, um, I'll show you where the brake is and I'll show you you know how to clean your brakes um, What the difference between a disc brake and a drum brake is uh, mine has a disc in the front drum in the back um, So that's all I have on my list. That's kind of just the basic, you know things you need to be aware of You know like what it is, you know how to fix it You know if something happens you hear a noise you hear, you know just the basic things You know I'm not here to show you guys how to rebuild a tranny or do an engine swap you know, you, you, you know, not everybody needs to know how to do that, but everybody definitely needs to know how to change your tire, how to put your, the spare on, how to jump start your car, and just kind of how to top off all your basic fluids and kind of recognize some basic components. So that's what I'm here to do today. 
So with that, let's get started. Bear with me, I am filming this on my own. I have my phone on a little stand, so if it's kind of not clear, I apologize. But first things first, I'm gonna show you guys where the jack is, because we're gonna do the tire change first. So I have a, ha I have a half back seat. So if you see right here, I'm gonna point to it. Uh, I can get in here with it. Uh, all right. So back here, we have a little compartment. So right here, so it says jack and handles. So you just turn, this whole panel comes right out. Then we have the lovely jack and the handles back here, as well as my lug wrench. And if you have a sedan, it's gonna be like in the trunk under a compartment. If you have an SUV, it's also gonna be in the back, might be in a side compartment. Um, your owner's manual will tell you where those things are. Uh, if you don't have an owner's manual, then Google is your best friend. So I take the jack out and then take out all these extensions because I will need them for my vehicle specifically. So, out. All right. Now we're going to come out here. So I'll set this down here. Kind of made a makeshift stand for my phone, so just bear with me. All right, so now that that's out, this is a bottle jack. So obviously you call it bottle jack because it's kind of shaped like a bottle. So you got the basic, you know, your crank, and then that's, that's all. All you need to lift up one wheel of your car. It's kind of amazing. So once you find that, uh, my car has, obviously, uh, this is my lug wrench. So some, a lot of common lug wrenches, or tire irons as it's also called, are X-shaped because um, they have different heads for your lug nut or uh, different sizes rather. Um, mine just has the one because it matches my lug nuts and I'll show you what I'm talking about when I say lug nuts and why it's called a lug wrench because these little guys right here that hold on your tire is called the lug nut. That's all it is. So, you know, should fit on your lug nut. It's got to like so. If it doesn't, the one that you have, you'll need to get one that matches your, or that fits your size lug nut. But before we do that, first you gotta identify your spare. So we take, we can put the jack aside for now. We take our extensions and the, and the lug, lug wrench. And we're gonna head to the back of the vehicle. So, uh, have a seat. I'll raise this up a little, as y'all can see. So, we're in the back of the truck, as you can see. And if you guys notice, my spare tire is actually underneath the bed of the truck, right behind the gas tank. So if you have like a Jeep or some SUVs have it, sometimes the spare is just kind of strapped right to the back. I know like the RAV4s do that. Um, sometimes the, uh, you know, obviously kind of any Jeep do that. But if you have a pickup or any kind of truck, it's usually going to be right underneath the bed of the truck. Um, Sometimes I'll just throw it right in the bed of the truck, you know, but then you do run the risk of it getting stolen. Um, so I just put it where it's supposed to go. Um, if you have a sedan, you know, you open your trunk and then on the floor of the trunk, there's usually a handle. You open that and under that is the spare. Um, like I said, if you're not sure about your vehicle, check your owner's manual. It'll tell you. Um, and if you don't have an owner's manual, um, definitely get one. <laughs> They're very handy, but Google is also your best friend. So what I do with these is I put all the extensions on, and this is why they give me these. Not your car, if you have a sedan or SUV, probably won't have this, but you hook them all together, they snap all it together. Then my lug wrench has a little opening here that hooks onto the back um, perpendicular. Now you just have a big, long pole. Now, I'll read this so you can see, whoopsie daisies. Right above my license plate, right in between the bumper and my tailgate, right here is a little hole. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. But that is where you stick this extension in to uh, lower the spare tire. So I would take this and 
you notice, the last piece of this has a hook on it. So the other three are the same, but this last one you put on the end, it's got a little hook. That will also, you'll also stick that in the jack, and that's what you'll use to raise the jack. So you just kind of slide that in that hole there, so it kind of grabs, and then you're going to spin counterclockwise, like you're loosening in a bolt, you know, lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, same principle. So you see it over here coming down, it's lowering it down. And your spare tire usually will not match your normal tires, it might not be there, it might be a little smaller, that's okay, you just need it to get to back to a safe place, you know. A functioning tire is better than a flat tire, so don't worry about that, it's not going to do you any harm. As long as your lug sizes match and and you're going to give it some slack that way you can get it off and then I come down over here now you see it's held in right here by a little clamp so what you do this gives you lift the tire up. I'm going to turn that clamp sideways so it pops out. Now the tire is free of this clamp. You can just put that aside. And then all you do, now your spare is free. Pull it out. You're good to go. So now we can just put that off to the side. Um, if you're pulled over on the side of the road, um, obviously be sure, put your flashers on, you know, try to get to a, or if you can pull over to a safe spot, do that. Um, but always make sure you get to a safe area first before you start doing this. And I forgot to mention, if you have a standard um, transmission, uh, make sure it's in a gear and make sure you're on as flat of a surface as you can be and uh, make sure your parking brake is on. Even if you have an automatic, make sure it's in park, parking brakes on. Um, you don't want this car moving once you get under it to change that tire. Whew, I'm out of breath. Um, so yeah, I forgot to mention that. And yeah, the flatter the surface, the better. That's going to make it a lot safer and a lot easier to jack the car up when you go to change the tire. So now that my spare tire is out of the way, and you should always make sure your spare tire has air in it too. It doesn't have leaks, because if your spare tire is flat too, that ain't going to do you much good. So. Always make sure it has air and that it is going to work. So I'm just going to put that off to the side for now since we're just in my garage. You know, it's not a big deal. But, all right, now that we've done that, let me go grab my extension pole again. So you kind of, if you have a pickup like I do, these can kind of get stuck back in there. You kind of have to like turn it and kind of wiggle it around. For it to come out uh, it'll pop out eventually so now uh, we're just gonna we're gonna separate these keep keep your extender um, like this if you have one like mine um, obviously if you don't have one then you don't need to worry about it but so once you get your spare out we'll get your spare on your vehicle and we put it off to the side now what you're gonna want to do just take your lug wrench part and you're gonna to wanna to loosen these before you lift it up. Because especially, I mean, I'm demonstrating on my front tire, but you know, any of your tires can blow. So I'm just doing it on demonstrating on this. But anyway, so you wanna loosen these before you jack it up. Cause once it's off the ground, this isn't engaged to anything. Especially since I have a rear wheel drive, <laughs> rear wheel drive, you know, these aren't engaged to anything. So they're just gonna spin freely. If you have front wheel drive, then, you know, They'll spin a little, but they'll still be engaging the transmission, especially if it's in gear. But since I have rear wheel drive, you know, these are, you know, I'm not going to be able to crank it because it's just going to be spinning on me. So while it's still on the ground, um, you want it, you usually have to stand up to do this because they're on pretty tight. And again, lefty loosey, so counterclockwise, if you think about it, kind of get it, you know, you're going to need some leverage. So. Push down to it kind of, you know, I can say I can hand turn it now. And don't worry about doing a star pattern when you're loosening. That's only when you're, only matters when you're tightening. So you can go in order when you're doing this part. Not as crucial. But just kind of get them 
to where they can be hand loosened, you know, because then you have to loosen them off the rest of the way once it's off the ground. And man, some are a little tighter than others. And some will squeak like that, so don't don't freak out when it does that. That's just the sound it makes. So once they're kind of all you know a little hand loose, and the tire will move. So if they're not all hand loose, again, you know, um, just get them loose enough. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just enough for when the tire's off the ground, it's not going to be like spinning on you and you can't loosen it. Um, I've definitely made that mistake. I've lifted it up, done all that, and then realized, crap, I didn't actually loosen these. And I have to put it back down and yeah. So just a fair warning. So now we take our extender again. Put this back on because now this clip also serves. Um, you see on my jack, there's a slot here. That's gonna hook into that, and then that's what I'll use to crank it up um, from the outside. But before you do that, you gotta get the jack into position um, underneath the car, and then hand tighten it up until it hits the axle. So hopefully this stand will fit under the car how I want it to. Hopefully. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Alright, I'll just put it it like this. You guys can still see. Alright, so, you want to take your bottle jack or your scissor jack. Some cars have a scissor jack, but they all work the same. Place it under, you'll see that this has a curve to it. You'll see right underneath your axle here, there is a joint that is rounded. That's where you, that's where you line up. And then you just gotta hand turn it to the right. If you have a bottle jack like this, and it'll go up very slowly, so you just gotta be patient. And don't be afraid to get out of the car. Um, you don't need jack stands for doing this since you're just lifting one tire at a time. Uh, you can carry jack stands with you if you want to. Those you just put under the frame. Um, just in case the jack fails while you're under here, it's not going to crush you. But since you're just lifting the one tire off the ground, you're not actually lifting the whole car itself. So you don't really need that for changing a tire. Uh, but if you're using like a big floor jack, you're lifting up a whole side of the car, that's when you want a jack stand. So you just line that up till it till it grabs grabs that little joint. And you'll see it in the back too. The back tire it's a little different. You want this your thing here to face out. So that way you can have the pole extend out. So once you get that lined up and you know, tight under there, so it's not gonna move. You come back out, like so. And now you take, hopefully you guys can still see that. All right, still see the jack. Take your pole, and you line it up. Uh, it can be kind of a pain, it kind of moves on you. Uh, so, uh. Get that nice and tight. I usually take this last part off and then clip it in there and then clip this part in. Uh, it's gonna be a little stubborn. So just be patient with it, you know. Don't get too frustrated. You know, you get frustrated, you know, you know, you're just gonna make a silly mistake. So, you know, just take your time. Alright, so now that you're there. Now you take this, and now you can crank it up from the outside. And I will position this so I can show you the tire lifting off the ground. So now that it's under there, now you crank it like you were cranking the back. You don't need it way too much off the ground, just enough to get the tire off. So it'll take a few cranks. Like I said, it goes up pretty slowly. All right, see, now the tire's off the ground. 
Now you can just kind of let that be there, let that stay. And just to make sure, give it a quick spin. All right, it's off the ground. So now, what you do, you go take your lug wrench off again. Like I said, this is just unique to my truck. Um, like I said, check your owner's manual for your car specifically. You know, do all that on some free time. You know, don't try to be doing that when something breaks down. You know, get to know your car beforehand. You know, take a day and just use your owner's manual. Find where your jack is. Find where your spare is. You know, see if you have like a scissor jack or a bottle jack. You know, do research all these things if you don't know before something happens. Then that way when something does happen, you know what you need to do. So now you see all these are pretty, you know, you can hand loosen them for the most part. Like I said, when you're loosening, you don't need to worry about star formation. Um, sometimes they won't, some will get tight, but. I wanna unscrew these. And guys, I'll be completely honest, I mean, cause you know, girls drive too. So girls, you're gonna have to not be afraid to get dirty. Um, even if you're a girly girl, you know, this could happen to anybody. So can't be afraid to get your hands dirty and you know, cause if you know how to do this, I mean, by the time you call somebody to come fix this, you know, you know, you could already have this done, you know, it just save you time. And it's just a good thing to know how to do. Um, like I said, that's why they give you a jack and a spare, you know, cause they expect you to know how to do this, you know, but this, this, this is just stuff they don't teach you you know, in, in school anymore, you know, parents aren't teaching their kids how to do this, you know, because a lot of parents don't even know how to do it themselves. I mean, it's kind of sad, but, you know, that's why I'm here, guys. I want to make sure y'all know how to do this because, you know, flat tires, dead batteries, that's stuff that's not going to give you warning. You know, there's other things, you know, you don't hear check engine light will come on or, you know, you're, you hear a strange sound and that's your car giving you some warning to go, you know, get it checked out, but... You know, you hit a pot pole, bam, flat. Like, you you had no way of knowing. You know, that's just freak accident stuff. So, now that you got your lug nuts, make sure you set them aside somewhere. You're not going to lose them. Uh, mine has five. So, off. now you got them all off. Now your tire just slide right off. Just like that. And keep in mind, tires are pretty heavy. So, you're going to need, going to need some help. Might need some help. Um, if you're all alone, um, and you know how to do it, but it's just too heavy for you, you know, nothing wrong with calling for some help, you know, do that. But as long as you at least know how to do it, that's the most important thing. All right, so now that your tire's off, now you just see there's a brake pad. So I've got disc brakes in the front, so that's what disc brake looks like. Just a pad and your rotor, and then um, this basically just squeezes the disc to stop. So... You can get disc cleaner um, and take those out, you know, clean around the ring, um, make, you know, keep it clean. Obviously, mine looks pretty good, but, uh, you know, you can, you can research how to clean them. It's pretty easy. And then uh, I want you to take them off today, but taking them off is pretty easy. Oh, man. I just realized I have a broken. Ooh, that ain't good. All right. <laughs> looks like I'm going to have to do some fixing myself here, too. Um, but, uh, anyway, so yeah, I won't worry about the brakes today, but yeah, so that's, so that's your brake. Um, and obviously if you're just changing the spare, you don't need to change your tire. You don't need to worry about it. So now we're going to take, take our spare and just do the same thing. Just pop her, line up the holes with the, uh, be a little hard cause you know, they are not light. Well, that's why you don't want to lift it too far off the ground, you know, because that's less less room you gotta, um, less height you gotta go. So you kind of just push it on so it's kind of straight. It's gonna kind of want to bow out, but basically, what you do now, you don't have to do the star pattern yet, but I still put them on in a star pattern. So I hand tighten them, and I kind of hold this back so it's on straight as possible and same with like loosening it you're not going to be able to tighten it all the way until you put it back on the ground so I'm just kind of 
hand tightening and hand tightening, excuse me, these um, just to keep it in place, keep it straight, keep it on there, but I can lower it and then finish tightening it all the way. So. Probably the longest part of the video, so just bear with me. All right, so now it's on, it's hand tight, it'll stay in place. You know, it's all good, check it, you know, make sure it is off the ground still. Now we're gonna come back here, take our lug wrench again, slap it on the extension. Now we're just going to go the opposite way and we'll lower it back down. Now I'll kind of put this here so you all can see. Whoops. All right, and once you feel the tension go, that's how you know it's fully on the ground. And then I'm gonna leave the jack here just because I'm gonna take it off again and put my actual tire back on and show you how to replace that. So looks like this tire is a little low, but that's okay. Even if it is a little low, not the exact right PSI, that's fine. So it just needs to get you just there to get you back to a safe place. So now what you're gonna do is star pattern. So most cars have a five um, lug nut pattern. So you go on a star. So if you think of a star, do, 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 do. You're drawing a star. So the first one you start with, if I start with this one, do half crank turn. You don't go to the next one. You skip one, go to that one. That's how you remember it. Crank turn. Okay. Skip one, go to the next one. Turn until it tightens. Now you skip that first one. Now you get back to this one. Sometimes these lower ones, this will kind of hit the ground, so. All right, skip this one, go to this one. And you just keep going around in that pattern until, now you're back at the start, until they're all pretty dang tight. I mean, you want them pretty dang tight, you know. That's all that's holding your tire on. So you don't want to just loosen that, or, you know, have them loose. And if you have to, I mean, Get up on your hands, you know, really crank these suckers, you know. I mean, you saw how hard they were to get off on the last one. So, you know, just tighten them to the best of your ability, like that. That's how you, that's how you change a tire. Um, obviously, if this were actual, you know, I'd, uh, I take the jack again, I put the jack back. Um, you don't have to put your, uh, say this tire just took off as flat, you don't have to put that back where that tire is. You can just put it, you can just throw it in the bed of your truck or your trunk, you know. Um, you don't have to put it back underneath where it's supposed to go, you know, because usually you'll just take that tire somewhere to get it fixed. Um, like I said, this is just to get you from A to B. Um, but, and then obviously I'd put the jack and the extended pulls back to where they were, like I showed at the beginning of the video. Um, yeah, that's how you do that. So, just for sake of um, doing this, I'll show you how to um, kind of put the spare back. So, I'm gonna loosen this. Like I said, when you're loosening, it doesn't have to be star pattern. Um, but remember, while it's still on the ground, you gotta loosen it then. You're not gonna be able to do it when it's off the ground. You just wanna be able to screw them off when it's. Yeah, 
always, first thing you guys do, especially if you get a new vehicle, always, always just spend some time in that owner's manual. Googling, you know, always spend time. I mean, that's gonna help you so much. Um, like I said, it's better to know where everything is in your vehicle specifically beforehand, before something happens, than trying to figure it out on the fly when you're already, you know, upset, stressed, because, you know, something just happened, you know. You just get to learn your vehicle beforehand. That'll save a lot of, a lot of headaches. So, now we're going to jack her back up. That's why I left the jack underneath there. Right. All right, it's off the ground. So now you can leave that jack there. Said you don't want it too high, but just enough to see it spins freely. And then, yeah, one that are and loose, go ahead and take off. I know this part's kind of tedious, guys, but bear with me. And yeah, see, your hands are going to get dirty, so, you know, I always carry shop towels and, you know, all sorts of stuff in the bed of my, or the backseat of my truck, you know, just, I mean, but that's just me personally, you know. Take this spare off, slides right out, and I'll show you guys how to put it back if you have to pick up. Alright. So that guy's gonna go grab the extension again. So, if you have a pickup, like I do, you want to put the spare back. So, you got your tire fixed, now you need to put the spare back. So, you do it in reverse. So, you lay it so the more hollowed out side is gripped down. You take your clamp again. Alright. You kind of scoop this under, approximately where it goes. And then you're just going to tilt it sideways again, slip it back to the hole, lift it up. Pull it all the way through, let it down, and then it should grab like that. So then you come back out here. So it's pretty much doing everything in reverse. So let me raise this up. Y'all can see. Take our extender back in, and now we're gonna go clockwise to raise it back up. Sometimes it can be a little lopsided, but that's okay. 
once it tightens, it'll straighten itself out. So, obviously, if you have a sedan, you know, just you just throw it back the truck trunk or excuse me, in, you know. So, obviously, since I have a pickup, mine's different than most. But it's all tied under there. Pull it out. Spares back where it needs to be. So that's how you change a tire guys pretty straightforward it's not rocket surgery um but like i said every car is a little different like i said mine has this, all these extenders because i needed to crank down from the bed of the truck but that's why like i said take the time to get to know your vehicle um and how to like where the spare and the jack is on that you know and it'll tell you how to operate it if you don't have an owner's manual google's your best friend so do it that way um, I'm gonna cut uh, this video short here because um, that you know just the tire alone takes a while and then I'll do another another video right after this kind of cover everything else um, I just want this one video to drag on too long so that's basically how you do tires um, changing your tire uh, if you guys have any questions uh, feel free to leave me a comment um, I'll post this up on my channel obviously so um yeah hopefully this was helpful hopefully you guys learned something um definitely something everybody needs to know for sure i firmly believe that um so hopefully that was informational hopefully it helped and yeah that's that's all it is nothing to it so it's not scary but yep so i think that'll about do it for changing tires so all right guys well thanks for watching and y'all take it easy